I know I don't look it, but I'm half Puerto Rican. My grandparents are from uh, the island of Borinquen. My grandfather had a parrot. <laughs> Robert. Today we are in Ridgewood, Queens, where I live. Episode two in Ridgewood, Queens. Last time we were here, I was filming this way. Uh, my girlfriend was behind the camera. Now we have an actual professional, Kevin Guzayich, behind the camera. A person who I hire for real projects. Wow, and now today he's shooting this. Today we're going to Aunt Ginny's, uh, one of my favorite bars in the area. And right in the back of Aunt Ginny's, there's just this tiny window, this tiny kitchen called I Like Food. I Like Food is Homemade bar food done right. That's just like the catchphrase I've been using since we opened. It's just a fun place to come with your friends and, and have some have some beers and have some uh, salty snacks. This is the kitchen. <laughs> this is this is the cooktop, which is the uh, induction burner that I've had for five years. Here's our our steam table, which uh, carries our our pernil ready to go, our consomme, chili, and vegan queso. These are our deep fat fryers. As you can see, they're very very small, one gallon, and a sandwich press. And that's it. I, I use that tagline a lot as a, a you know, comfort food in very uncomfortable times. During the pandemic, Fernando basically switched his little kitchen into a delivery only restaurant. He was delivering all throughout the pandemic, working his ass off, making really creative food, and um, just with a tiny team feeding Ridgewood. Other thing about Fernando is that he's Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican too. I know I don't look it, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a white man, but uh, we're gonna be drinking Madaya. The, uh, the beer of Puerto Rico, which is uh, available at Anginis. We're having some delicious pork, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I know Fernando has a few dishes prepared for me. I'm gonna go check it out and eat food. And I like food. Let's go. All right, so we're sat at the bar. What a great feeling it is to be sat at the bar. You know, 2020 fucking sucked. Fernando has brought me a number of delights. Uh, some things I requested, and then he brought me some extra stuff too. He got me a little, these are just straight up deep fried Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> As he described them, the actual best bar snack you could probably have. And that's why I love this place, man. Unpretentious, creative, fun, delicious. I'm gonna crack into my Medaya. God, life is good. All right, so where should we start? I think we're gonna start with the Pernod because this, uh, this is fresh hot right here. We got just some pernil, pickled red onion, cilantro, got some consomme on the side. That's fantastic. It kind of has the um, innovations of the Cubano with all of the crisp butteriness of an amazing grilled cheese. And then right inside, roast pork, pernil. This is a perfect sandwich. You got the sandwich press back there, obviously doing a lot of work, pulling a lot of weight in the kitchen. <laughs> But, I mean, long story short, I could eat about 100 of these. The other thing is the cheese kind of crisps up, pork juices kind of get all in the bread. It's just silly. What other place do you know hand makes a 20 pound pernil and sells deep fried pizza rolls? Like literally no place on earth. That is the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> this is like, it's like if you go to Totino's <laughs> and, you get, and you get the Totino pizza real fresh. This is what it's supposed to taste like. Mmm. Mmm. This is what was in the mind of Totino himself when he invented pizza rolls. Fucking delightful. Hey, everyone, you've got to eat cheese today. Moving on to the furikake french fries. Wasabi mayo. They actually said wasabi and soft tofu. Silken tofu, is that correct? Strong. Strong wasabi flavor. I love anything that just makes you aware of your surroundings. <laughs> yeah, this like doesn't hide the wasabiness at all. It tastes like fucking wasabi. Extra hit. Got the house fries with the house made uh, seasoning. These are amazing. I've been snacking on these the whole time. It's like the best old Bay Spice you can have with on a French fry and probably with more MSG, which 
I'm not an insult, by the way. Fucking love MSG. I keep that in my house. Let's go to the vegan crisp wrap. The crisp wrap, because of copyright problems, but we all know what this really is. This is incredible. House-made cashew cheese. Tastes exactly like queso. Really, really spicy. Beautiful, like, you know, Tex-Mex adjacent flavors. It tastes like perfect vegan fast food. It is literally the ideal vegan fast food. You cannot do vegan fast food better than this. This is the, this is the top, in my opinion. If I was vegetarian or vegan, I would be just as happy as everybody else who was here eating everything else. And finally, last but definitely not least, is the fried Dominican cheese. I mean, I don't have to eat this. I can. I already know this is the greatest thing ever. For the longest time, when anybody asked me my favorite food, I would just say mozzarella sticks. Um, and that's more or less true. It's like when people ask me my favorite movie and I say Swingers. Though, now that I've watched Swingers more recently, you know, the cracks kind of show. And so I, I love Swingers, but it's not really a 2021 movie. Now, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, that's a great film. That's my new number one. And mozzarella sticks is still number one. Chicken cutlets number two. Anyway, this is fried cheese. This is basically a mozzarella stick with no bread. And then you got this sweet, spicy sauce. Mmm. Do you hear the squeak? You show me someone who doesn't love squeaky cheese and I'll show you a liar. This is the greatest. Mmm. Great to be able to go back out in Ridgewood, eat great food, hang out with great bartenders, drink great drinks, and uh, live life again. What a joy. Now you gotta film me eating all this in slow-mo. We're out here in front of Al Yemeni Market on the corner of Gates and Woodward. You know, I haven't squatted in a while, so I felt like, why not squat? Have a ginger beer. This is where Fernando gets his produce. He said he comes here every morning. It's like his own little green market. And uh, you know, it's called Al Yemeni, and there are signs for halal food all outside, but it's actually got a, a variety of different international snacks in there. And uh, really good guys behind the counter. Shouts out Karim. One thing they had back there was this baklava shipped directly from Turkey. So you know I had to get a little, a little snacky. That is bonkers. Oh, well, Yemeni, great local business. Definitely come here to get all your produce. One thing I love about Fernando is that he's very engaged on Instagram and not in like a fake way. He's very sincere, really communicates what's going on at I Like Food. I mean, you saw. He's a sincere dude, and uh, I really appreciate his time today. Anyway, I love Ridgewood. I love coming out and supporting local businesses. Al Yemeni, Aunt Ginny's, I Like Food, Burrex Pizza, once upon a time. And that's it for this week's episode of Eating with Robert. My name's Rob. See you next time. When I did my last episode in Ridgewood, Queens, I was promoting it on Reddit because I don't know how to promote this show. And if you know how to promote a YouTube show, please get in touch because we are struggling. <laughs> Just kidding, 192 YouTube subscribers. Look at that, that's pretty good.